this is going to be the last story that we have for this week. And this one is about something that you smell with. What do you smell with? Do we smell with our mouths? Do we smell with our ears? What do we do with our ears? We hear with our ears. Hmm. Do we smell with our eyes? We see with our eyes. We smell with our nose. This book's called The Nose Book. It's written by Al Perkins and illustrated by Joe Matthew. You can see a little nose pointing out. Everybody grows a nose. I can see a nose on every face. Can you? I see noses every place. <laughs> A nose between a pair of eyes. Noses, noses in every size. Small, big, medium. They grow on every kind of head. They come in blue and pink and red. This one's called a snout. Some are very, very long. Some are very, very strong. Hmm. Is mine long? Is mine strong? I don't think so. Everywhere a fellow goes, he sees some new, new kind of nose. Underwater noses. A nose is useful, after all. Some play horns, beep, 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 beep. And some play ball. Do you play ball with your nose? What about playing an instrument? A nose is good for making holes in trees. They're using their beaks and roofs and barber poles or uh all. -oh. Sometimes noses aren't much fun. They sniffle. They get burned by the sun. He needs to put some sun cream on. Oh, I think, it's I think they've got a cold. Achoo! A nose gets punched and bumped on doors and bumped on walls and bumped on floors. Oh, that would hurt. Sometimes your nose will make you sad. Sometimes your nose will make you mad. But, just suppose you had no nose, no nose. Then you could never smell a rose or pie or chicken a la king. You'd never smell a single thing. And one thing more, 
Suppose. No knows. Where would all our glasses sit? They'd all fall off. Just think of it. And that's why everybody grows. Between his eyes, some kind of nose. And that's the end of the story about noses. Bye.